Mi mai dong amma atong baju darang. Welcome to this atong grammar lesson. Chem is not the past tense. Please read and listen to the example of Mr. Todan M. Sangma about the history of Padri. Notice the use of the meaningful part Chem at the end. We biape Chigachak teo Kor India Kolani Biapandung Atim Noa What does this sentence mean? It means that place Chigachak is now supposedly the Kol India colony, it is said. Is this sentence telling us something about the past or the present. This sentence is about the present, the present time. How do we know that this sentence is not about the past? Well, the word teu means now. This sentence is talking about something in the present. So, the meaningful part chem in the word dung a chem cannot be indicating past tense. That is why in English we translate that place Chigachak is now supposedly the Kol India colony. So, why is the meaningful part chem used in this sentence? What does it mean? The meaningful part chem in the word dong wat chem means supposedly. That place, Chigachak, is now supposedly the Kol India colony. The time the speaker is talking about in the sentence is now. This is not the past. This is the present. The attitude of the speaker about the information presented in the sentence is that it is a supposition. The information is supposedly true. That is why the speaker uses the meaningful part term. We biape Chigachak teo Kor India Kolani Biapandung Atim Noa. Now, please read and listen to the example from the story Bandi Mengaman as told by Mr. Dirus Armarak. Again, notice the use of the meaningful part Chem. Ayaw! Biga bandigal mi rak waye, tengen kat nuk no te ido. Ang ba et tuk ba botelaw tuk kaw rak ni Chem te. Nuay meng, nuay dong ano bandi ba. What do these sentences mean? Wow! At which market did you buy this bottle? It lasts very long. I might also buy a bottle like this, Bandi is saying, it is said. Now focus on the last part with Chen. Ang ba et tuk ba botelaw tuk kaw dora ni Chen te? Is this sentence telling us about the past or not? This sentence is not about the past. How do we know that the sentence is not about the past? Well, Bandi does not already have such a bottle. He is thinking about maybe buying one in the future. Bandi's plan to maybe buy such a bottle in the future is indicated by the meaningful part ni. So, what does chim do here? What is its meaning? The meaningful part chim makes the whole plan more speculative. Speculative meaning 
that Bundy is not actually buying such a bottle now, but he might buy such a bottle. It is not reality. It is imagination. In English, this might be translated as I might also buy a bottle like this. So, the sentence is talking about an uncertain and imaginary future. And the speaker indicates that the information presented in the sentence is uncertain and imaginary by using the meaningful parts ni for uncertainty about the future and chim for imaginary. Ang ba e tukka ba botelau tukka do ra ni chim te? In conclusion, chim does not indicate the past tense in Atong. When can we use chim? We can use chim to talk about an imaginary world. We can also use chim to say that something would or could be real. or to say that something might be real. We can also use chum to say that something used to be real but not anymore. Or to say that something is in vain or without result. Here is an overview of situations where we can use the meaningful part term. Now let us look at some examples of each situation. We can use term to talk about an imaginary reality, as in the sentence Song Dam Sachi Al Siarajaganam Term. In a certain village, there supposedly is, or was, a lazy king, it is said. Ganang, in this sentence, mean that something exists, which can be translated in English with am, is, are, or was, were. The meaningful part chem means that the lazy king does not really exist. His existence is imaginary. Morok mung sa das kiliay mung tang ka niyo. Ito kay nawa balwa. Ang tay sa raja sa lapok chum tayo. In English, this would be, I would or could have made a hundred rupees profit, but I lost the game. The meaningful part ok means that profit was made, but chum means that profit making is imaginary. Sa agray mong sa nem chaga biskut aura akno, ato kay mong amado biskut ng tang ramat chum. You could have searched for different biscuits. Chum means that Ramma did not really happen. It could happen. Gumukan paichido jani chum. If everyone would carry something, we might get the job done. Ni in this sentence means uncertainty about the future. And chum means that the situation is imaginary. That is why in English we say, if everybody would carry something, we might get the job done. Ang nak nak kagala chum. I used to love you. The meaningful part a 
means that something usually happens kagala and chem means that it is imaginary it means that there is no loving now going on that is why in english we have to translate with i used to love you sometimes the meaningful part chem is used in sentences to talk about the past as we have seen in the previous example here is another one mura taisa ganan chem ti euni wa several possible translations are possible there was a chair here a moment ago there isn't one now another one there used to be a chair here a moment ago now there isn't one another translation could be there was supposedly a chair here a moment ago there isn't one now ganang means that something exists or existed chem means that the existence is imaginary because of the word taisa and because of the next sentence the uniwa the atong sentence mura taisa ganang chem can be translated into english with the past tense was but chem does not mean past tense it means imaginary which means that something is not real it is the context that makes us think that the chair existed in the past let us now look at another meaning of chem to do something in vain or without result angdo dada para sanjero chem The meaningful part edonga means that searching is or was happening. Chem means that the searching is or was in vain. Meya ang nangaw sang di wat chem. Yesterday I searched for you in vain. Wa means that searching really happened. Chem means that the searching was without result. Ang nangga belong nuk na suka dunga chem ang paltang re ingnado suka dok chem atuk ciba anga sawa mi gemen re ingnam man chai dunga I would really like to see you but something prevents me from doing this I would have liked to come myself but I am ill I cannot go I dunga and I dok Those two meaningful parts mean that something is happening or was happening. Chem is used to make uh, to mean that something is preventing it from being successful. It is in vain. So, how do we know that chem does not mean past tense? Well, The meaning past tense does not make sense when you look at the sentences and situations in which chem is used. When we look at what chem really does, we can only come to the conclusion that it has several functions, none of which is indicating past tense. When a sentence with chem is translated in English with the past tense, it is not because chem indicates the past tense in Atong. This is a translation problem, not a problem of Atong grammar. Depending on the sentence in which it is used, chem means that something is imaginary or is done in vain. So in Atong There is a meaningful part chem which because of all its different meanings and usages is called the irrealis. This is a Latin word meaning not real. The meaningful part chem has two main meanings namely to indicate that something is imaginary and to indicate that something is done in vain or without result.
When we translate an atong sentence with tm into English, we can use the words like could, would, might, used to, was, or in vain. Grammar lesson jammo. Chaiga ba omitela. Singa ba ganang chido ma atong ba bang nasak chido i video cha ma chi ganang ba saiwa mi hap chi sayari bo. Ye video wa nem nukai mung. Like button now shik the ku. Walnam 